Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. This is just a random live, not live live, but current uh, chat. I wanted to kind of share a testimony that happened and I figured it's Sunday. Might as well share it today. It's a perfect day to share what God did out in Quartzsite. Um, when I say out in Quartzsite, <laughs> <laughs> that tells you I'm not in Quartzsite. So a lot of my videos will show me there, but I'm not there. Um, and I don't want to say where I'm at yet. You guys will see. My videos are not in real time, so um, it's rare. I will usually say that, you know, this is a real time video. Um, anyways, uh, I camped with a friend and... Uh, you know, I had mentioned before, if anybody needed prayer, you know, they could reach out to me. You guys know my email address is in the about section of my um, channel. So my email address is there. Anybody can email me. We can um, plan to get together. Uh, anybody needs prayer, we can, you know, do that. So I had a friend camp with me. Um, I asked if they had any prayer requests, uh, anything that needed healing. And they said, yeah, their knees were bothering them. So um, it seemed, I didn't know this, but it seemed to be a constant everyday problem. So I said, let's do it. Let's pray. Let's see Jesus crash in and he heal you. So, you know, I never know. I mean, I'm nothing without the Holy Spirit, without Jesus. So he's the healer. So um, it was interesting because at first I wanted to see how in tune with the spirit they were. And so sometimes I will do like a little experiment exercise, I guess. Um, so this time I had them just kind of put their hands out like this, um, and this like this. And then I put my hands underneath without touching their hands. And I asked them if they felt anything and they said they felt, um, I think they said like electricity and heat. So I, I knew at that point that person was very sensitive to um, the spirit and energy. You know, we hold a lot of healing in our hands. The word says, um, lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So, um, you know, when we, well, I think it was like the following day when I mentioned, when I said, you know, um, is it okay if I share your testimony? And, and uh, you know, because I would like to pray for other people and this will encourage other people. Um, and it encourages me too. Um, and they said, well, I mean, you know, they said yes, but they said, um, you know, how can they get a hold of you or, or can, are you just going to pray like oh, online, um, remotely? And I said, yeah, you know, I could do that too, but it's more powerful if you're with the person because, you know, laying hands on someone, um, brings healing, uh, but remote prayers i mean in the word you know god or jesus you know sent out his word to heal and um and that was enough so you know there's no time or distance in the spirit realm so both work god knows the intentions of your heart and stuff and god wants to heal so anyways um the other thing i did was um i think that was it just to kind of get an idea of like you know, how sensitive they were was, you know, do the hand uh, test. So anyways, I just put my hands on their knees and I began to pray and I just, you know, um, believed. And that was the other thing is this person has um, faith, you know, um, and it, and it's not required. Like Jesus healed a lot of people that didn't have faith, you know. Um, so I feel like my faith is enough. Jesus is enough. Um, you know, he healed the demoniac and, you know, the, the man that was demon possessed. And it doesn't say that that person had faith. Um, there was other people that got healed and it, it was like, it showed them a revelation. It's like, um, you don't always have to have faith or a believer. A lot of times God will heal or Jesus will heal the unbeliever just to show like wow you know he's real and um so that that's not required but i really believe that this person had a lot of faith and belief that they would get healed and so um 
so anyways prayed and they received it and then um and then i asked them you know how do you feel does it feel better and they're like yeah surprisingly like the pain has reduced and i'm all about like i don't want just halfway healing i want all the way healing and i know god can do it you know in in stages so i've seen god heal a person you know as they walked away as you know the days went on so it doesn't always have to be like instant but i like to see instant results and that's just me but it's not required um but when they did when they said that they felt better and the pain was gone um i had them like test it out and um i said you know let's let's pray again let's finish this you know like let's do it so prayed again and they were surprised they're like wow you know like my knees feel better there's no pain they got up they walked around they were fine so i was just like thank you jesus you know and um and then i asked them you know what what happened like when i was praying like what, did you feel anything and they said you know they, they felt um initially they felt like they were gonna cry so that's the love of jesus the love of jesus um makes you feel like you're gonna cry um, it's like an overwhelming just feeling of like love that comes on you. That's just, that's the Holy Spirit. That's how I say it. That's the Holy Spirit coming. Um, Cause I'm not a crier, but when the Holy Spirit comes, I become, I am a weeper. I mean, there's been times when I have like wailed and I had no control of it, but it, that's just the way that, you know, the Holy Spirit works. It's like, you just can't make sense of it. Um, so anyways, they said that they felt like they were going to cry and they saw like, first they saw um, a bright white light come to them. And I believe those are angels, you know, angels can bring healing. Um, and then they said they saw red, like, and I, I think that's the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is powerful and it heals. So they saw red in the spirit and stuff and um, kind of like shining and stuff like that. And so I just thought, wow, you know, something supernatural was happening. And, uh, and then even the next day they were just like, wow, my knees are all better, you know? And I said, well, here's the thing, you know, the enemy, the devil comes to kill, steal and destroy. He'll try to lie to you and say, you know, that didn't happen. You're not healed. Um, he'll bring phantom pains. And I said, so you have to rebuke that. You have to say, no, I'm healed. You know, Jesus healed me and just keep on standing on that word and, um, and I always like when I end prayer, I just always cover it with the blood of Jesus. And just, I pray that like the enemy won't steal that prayer and won't steal that word. And I seal it with the blood of Jesus. And so, um, yeah, so as they went, they were still healed, you know, even after, um, uh, a couple days went by. So, um, I'm believing that they are permanently healed and they're standing on that, you know, and that's one thing is just teaching people, um, their authority and, and their um what you know what jesus died to give them and so um anyway so that was a really cool uh experience out there and uh i just kept on you know when they're when they said yeah you know uh i'm healed i just kept saying just say thank you jesus it's all about jesus jesus is the name the name powerful name so i said just keep on giving him glory keep on giving him praise um, he's the one that does it. It's not me. I'm just a willing vessel. I am just, you know, basically like a conduit and he can use anyone. He can use a donkey. He can use anyone. <laughs> he can use a jackass. <laughs> am I allowed to say that on here? Um, it is an animal. Um, and it's a Bible story. He used a donkey, um, you know, who talked anyways yeah so that was really cool so if you guys you know want prayer and you're not even near quartzite because i do plan to go back i'm not far i'm gonna go back uh but i am just kind of secluded right now um i like to get alone i like to just spend time with god and just you know fill my cup and a lot of times that's just getting away from everyone and everything and going far um so anyways yeah so when i come back to courtside if anybody wants prayer i'm more than happy to pray for them um and if not we could do it remotely too you can email me you've got my email address um in the about page and uh, maybe i'll if anybody wants it i could put a comment and put it on there too but um, it's spelled differently but it's misdrives a lot at gmail.com anyways guys have a blessed sunday Jesus is good. 
Um, yeah. So be blessed, guys. Bye.